If you think deep sea creatures look terrifying, you're absolutely right. But the real reason they look like nightmare fuel has nothing to do with horror movies and everything to do with surviving in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the abyss, where pressure crushes steel, sunlight doesn't exist, and life adapts in the most extreme ways imaginable. The ocean covers more than 70% of our planet, but humans have explored less than 5% of its deepest zones. Down there, life looks completely alien. Huge mouths, glowing bodies, translucent skin, teeth sticking out at impossible angles. But these aren't monsters. They're survivors. Today, we're breaking down the four forces that create the strangest creatures on Earth and showing you the science behind each adaptation. Let's start with the number one reason deep sea creatures look the way they do. Pressure. For every 10 meters you go underwater, the pressure increases by one atmosphere. At just a few thousand meters down, you're at pressures high enough to crush a human submarine like an empty soda can. So, how do deep sea animals survive this? They develop soft, gelatinous bodies with almost no air pockets. No lungs, no air-filled swim bladders, no rigid bone structures that collapse. A perfect example is the blobfish. On land it looks, uh, well, awful. But at its natural depth, its soft body becomes perfectly streamlined. It's not ugly down there, it's optimized. After just a thousand meters, sunlight completely disappears. Imagine living your entire life in pitch black darkness. In this world, creatures adapt in two opposite ways. Some develop huge eyes to collect even the faintest light. Others lose their eyes entirely because vision isn't useful when it's always night. But the most incredible adaptation is bioluminescence, the ability to create light. Anglerfish use glowing lures to attract prey. Certain squids flash bright patterns to confuse predators and some deep sea corals may have been glowing for over 500 million years. In the deep sea, creating your own light is a survival tool. Food in the deep sea is unbelievably scarce. Most of the energy that reaches the abyss comes from marine snow tiny particles of dead plants and animals drifting downward from the surface. Because meals are rare, deep sea predators develop massive jaws, needle-like teeth, and stomachs that can stretch to many times their normal size. Take the Pacific Viperfish. Its fangs are so long, it can't fully close its mouth. But that's the point. When prey is rare, you can't afford to miss. The deep ocean is one of the most isolated places on Earth. With no sunlight, little food, and almost no seasonal change, 
Animals here develop specialized adaptations that help them survive in conditions that barely change for millions of years. One result is deep sea gigantism. The tendency for animals here to grow larger than similar species in shallow waters. Giant isopods grow as big as footballs. Some jellyfish have tentacles over a hundred feet long. And the big fin squid has arms that stretch down like glowing ribbons. When life adapts in total isolation, with constant darkness and crushing pressure, the results can look bizarre to us, but they're perfectly suited for survival. Huge teeth, translucent bodies, upside down faces, glowing organs, expandable jaws, elongated limbs. These designs aren't accidents. Each one is an adaptation to darkness, pressure, and limited food. To us, they look terrifying. To the deep sea, they're perfectly normal. So, why does it all matter? These creatures show us how life can adapt in the most extreme conditions. They help scientists discover new medicines, new biological tools, and new clues about life on other planets. And we are still discovering new species every year. Like the predator recently spotted near 8,000 meters deep in the Atacama Trench. So yes, deep sea creatures look terrifying, but every strange feature you see is an adaptation perfectly tuned for survival in a world we still barely understand. If you enjoyed this dive into the abyss, like the video, hit subscribe, and join me next time for more mind-blowing science.